because, you know, throughout my career, I've only been involved in, some, in bomb records. From day one, you know, this guy's always been willing to, like, push the envelope. Producing what he thought probably wasn't going to get played on MTV. Producing what he thought probably wasn't going to get played on radio, but it was so hot, they had to do a clean version. <laughs> Between N.W.A. and the stuff he did for Death Row Records, I mean, he's a significant figure in hip-hop history. He has done it twice, with N.W.A. and then with The Chronic, in turning the direction of hip-hop in some other place. He always produces a hit. Not sometimes, he always, 100% of the time, produces a hit. Even back with N.W.A., D.O.C., Miss L.A., J.J. Fad. <laughs> Luckily, there's no videos from the record crew. <laughs> But I feel like I've grown and I'm into more mature and positive things now. It's a new day for Dre. I think Dre should be remembered as the greatest producer of all time. This, fortunately, is my talent, and this is what I'm, what I'm doing, and I'm going to make the best of it. He always been a superstar to me, you know, and that's that's who I look up to as far as like one of the tightest uh, producer composers in the in the music game. You know, is is Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre should be remembered. You know, in hip hop history, like we remember people like Quincy Jones, you know, and great producers like that. All right, and just like Quincy Jones, Quincy Jones, Dre's legacy continues to grow. Welcome back to Dre TV, an incredible fourth day of spanking new music here on MTV. This crowd is so pumped up, we just witnessed the most amazing thing shutting down Times Square with the help of New York City for that. Amazing performance with Dre and Exhibit came out and Snoop, of course. Outside had their fun. We're inside now. I think everybody's ready. Can we do this? Please welcome Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Come on, guys. That performance out there. That was crazy. You've done a lot of shows. You've performed a lot of times. That was something special. That though. was energy. It's freezing out there and I was sweating. You know yeah, because it was hot. What's <laughs> up, Snoop? Uh, I'm chilling. What's up, New York? <laughs> Got a lot of love for you guys. Dr. Dre, 2001, comes out on the 16th. And I'm telling you, man, just trying to get a copy of this thing to listen to it, just to sit down with you guys was tough to do. You got 22 tracks that are going to blow people's minds. Congratulations on it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Honestly, it is unbelievable. The writing, the production, the collaboration. We're going to talk about all of it here. <laughs> the fans are crazy over there. Uh, but it's good to have you guys back, too. Back working together. How did you guys sort of hook that up? It says on the record, you know, the LBC and the CPT back together again. Oh, yeah. yeah you can... Well, I was um, working on my album, No Limit Top Dog which is in stores right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Hey, when are we going to uh, Snoop TV? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Dre, you know, Dr. Dre assisted me with three tracks on that album, so uh, Be Pleased, which is the one that's banging right now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I paid him back the same way he did me. A crazy idea. And we should talk a little bit about you have, a, you have an incredible talent for finding new talent. What is it when you hear some, what are some qualities, like, like Eminem we've always mentioned, but what is it about a quality in somebody? I mean, you? the person just have to, has to have a star, a star thing about them. You know what I'm saying? Period. They have the outside, the studio activity has to be just as good as the inside, you know? Period. I mean, that's it. You just have to have a star quality. I just had this gift for, um, for finding them. You know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> There might be some people in this room. Snoop, do you think, you think that's one of Dre's greatest talents, the ability to find new talent and just make it happen for him? I think he has the ability to produce. A lot of producers just make good beats, but Dr. Dre actually produces. And what I mean by that is he actually works with you and helps you find the best in yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's a hand-in-hand -hand marriage, and it's, it's a beautiful thing when you're working with Dr. Dre. Absolutely. And, you know... In listening to the record, I kept going back to the song Forget About Dre, which 
forgot about Trey, excuse me, and M's on it. He couldn't be here today. He wanted to be. Right. But uh, the song is incredible. We actually sat down with him. We caught up to him to tell us a little bit about the history behind this particular song and the message that this song has to say. Let's watch what Eminem had to say on Dre TV. <laughs> when I first had signed with Dre, you know what I'm saying, and people were saying, people were running around, saying, running up to me saying, you know, yeah, you signed with Dre, but Dre's finished. You know, what, what is Dre really doing? So we wanted to make a record that was like, forget you, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just to prove everybody wrong. It's nowadays everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips, just a bunch of gibberish. Because act like they forgot about Dre. And that's basically, that basically sums it up right there, you know what I'm saying? It's like anybody who, who, who had doubts or forgot about Dre, you know what I'm saying? Dre is coming back like he never left. Dre is coming back like he never left. As, I never, you I never, never did leave. You know, I took a Rip Van, Rip Van Winkle moment, you know what I'm saying? Took a little nap for a minute, now I'm back in it. Yeah, but you know what I gotta say? Like, you are Dr. Dre. Do you really feel the need to answer this, what people, like, the vibe on the street, like what people say on the street? You don't have to answer Yeah, because them. they buy the records too. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I have to listen to, to the criticism too. That really motivates me. That's where I get my motivation from. Those people out there talking that nonsense. Yeah. Straight up. Okay, good. You gotta put them in their place. Let's talk about this, uh, this uh, we were just talking about this before the show started, about a, a music videotape that was stolen. Do you want to talk about that now? Yeah. What, I mean, just break it down. What happened? I mean, it was a videotape that, that we did in my house just for my private collection. You know what I mean? Snoop was a part of it. They you got know? it? <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody stole this tape from my house or something like that, and there's a lot of X-rated things on it, you know, so... <laughs> so what do I, well, let's see a second. <laughs> Snoop, you don't know about this? Remember the tape? You're on it. It's gone. Bueno? It's gone. <laughs> so what happened? You had a party? Someone, don't you, this is like the, the Tommy Pamela Lee thing. It's gone, now it's going to be no, out? it's worse than that, man. <laughs> oh, no. So are we looking for it? Can we say anything? Anybody yeah, watching? I mean, Whoever you... was at Dre's house at that party, you better return that tape. Please bring I it mean... back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What, what, what do you plan on doing? What is it gonna, is it gonna get out? What are we gonna do? I mean, if it gets out there, you know, so be it. I'm just, <laughs> just letting everybody know, you know. It was out of my private collection. That's yeah. all, it wasn't meant to be out there like that. All right, well, let's hope it gets uh, returned in the mail. <laughs> let's, go, let's go back to Dr. Dre 2001. You collaborate with a lot of people. Snoop's bugging right now. <laughs> We're gonna be in commercial. Snoop's gonna be like, I can't believe the tape is gone. You collaborate with a lot of people on the record. We just saw Exhibit out there. Oh yeah, my man Exhibit, X to the Z. Hey, what, back what? Mary J. Mary J. Blige, yeah, she blessed me, you know what I'm saying? She, Talk um, about the message, maybe. Yeah, she did the song and asked for no payment, nothing. She just went in there and did it, and I love her for that, straight up. She is great, isn't she? Yeah, definitely. Cool. When you need me, call me. Hey, yo, Drake, congratulations. We've been doing this for a long time. I remember back in the day when we was trying to put this stuff together, man. Now we don't, you know, you done blown up, went your way. You know, I done went my way. Hopefully we can get together, man, do this NWA project we've been talking about, man. Just make it off the hook, man. That's what everybody waiting on. Good luck on Chronic 2001. I think that's the big question right there, buddy. You know, a lot of rock bands do, like the Eagles and Fleetwood Mac, they reunite. What would it take to get NWA back together? I mean, you know, we, me and Q have been talking about it, actually. Um, when I get back home, we're going to start on it. Um, hopefully, um, Snoop is going to be a part of that. You know what Snoop? I mean? <laughs> well, y'all know I'm a, for life. I couldn't say it, but y'all know I'm for life. That's right. But um, it's definitely going to happen, for sure. Good. Hopefully Christmas 2000. All right, cool. I look forward to that. There's some people here who have questions in the audience. First up, right over here, what's your name? Frank. What's up, Frank? Uh, are there any more projects that you and Dre are going to be working on? It's for Snoop and Dre, for both of you. Yeah, yeah, uh, Break Up to Make Up. That's going to be the actual album that me and Dre going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It ain't got no release date on it, though. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got one more question right behind you there. What's your name? Suhaim. What's up? Yeah, I wanted to ask Dre. I heard you had 100 tracks, and you only used 22. What's up with the rest? Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> 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 She's trying to get hers on. <laughs> 
like that. <laughs> um, you know, they're just in the archives. I, I mean, which each, with each record, I do a whole bunch of tracks and just pick the best out. So, you know, I have like well over 500 tracks just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? Just. <laughs> a lot of tracks. From, Everybody from wants back to borrow his beats, he said. Um, people do that? They come up to you and like, yo, can you hook me up with a couple of tracks? All the time. Every time I shake a hand, I get a demo. Okay. There's worse. Uh, the record is out on the 16th. I highly recommend you go pick it up. Uh, it's incredible. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having and us. And Snoop, it's great to have you here, too. We're going to leave you with Snoop and Dre doing something a little special. One of their classics. Thanks for watching Dre TV spanking new music right here. I think the DJ can hit it. You guys are going to take us out. What's so, up, Jam? Yeah. Jam? Y'all remember this right here? Y'all remember that? We're going to do what this with What up, what up? Check us out. It's like one, two, three, get to the four. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at your yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Cause you know we're about to rip it up. But give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Long Beach together, Everybody now you know you're in trouble. This. Ain't nothing but a G thing. We too low down G, so we And no limit is the label that we unfadeable, so please don't try to fake this. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, back to the lecture at hand. Say what? Perfection is perfected, so I'ma let them understand. From a young G's perspective. And before me, they got a trick, I have to find a contraceptive. You never know, she could be earning a man and learning a man. And at the same time, burning a man. That when she burning, I'ma chill for a minute. Cause ain't no loving good enough to give her while I'm up in it. Whoa. And that's realer than real deal, holy fear. And now you hook us in. Know how I feel. Well, if it's good enough to get broke off a proper chunk, I'll take a small piece of something. Come on, it's like and like and like and up. It's like and like and like and up. It's like and like and like. And, uh, it's like, and, like, and like. Dre creep to the mic like a fan. Well, I'm creeping and I'm creeping and I'm creeping. But I damn near got caught, cause my beef was kept deep. And now it's time for me to make my impression felt. So sit back, relax, and strap on your seatbelt. You've never been on a ride like this before. With a producer who can rap and control the maestro. At the same time with the dope rhyme that I kick. You know and I know I flow some old funky. To add to my collection, this selection symbolizes. Second coming of this dynamic duo.